Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here and today I'm very excited uh, because I'm going to be showing you how to flash over Android 4.4 KitKat. So Android 4.4 KitKat was unveiled not long ago by Google and it is an official a partnership with KitKat as in uh, the chocolate bar uh, KitKat. And uh, so before we start, I want to show you that there's the Galaxy S3 um, and it's the international version. I'm running on Android 4.2.2. So I'm really honored that uh, Google uh, sent me uh, a version of Android KitKat um, and I can't wait to share this with you guys. I'm actually really excited. So first of all, what you want to do is switch off your phone. Um, this is a different type of update, you don't enter recovery, you don't enter download mode. But uh, it is pretty simple procedure and I'll show you what to do um, and hopefully you guys will all be able to have Android KitKat. Uh, and unfortunately this might not be uh, available for Samsung Galaxy S1 users and I'll, 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 uh, I'll come to that in just a second. So first of all what you want to do is unzip uh, the file. To unzip the file you literally have to unzip the file. So you unzip it and once you unzip um, the file you get Android KitKat right there and as you can see it's only got 107 calories which means the RAM usage on our S3 is going to be great because the RAM usage is very important when it comes uh, to phones nowadays because the more RAM usage you have the slower and sluggish the, the phone becomes so with 107 calories only 107 calories that means we can use our phone at blistering speeds even with only 512 megabytes if needs be but this uh, should be really really good in terms of an experience. So first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to unpack it properly and we're gonna have to look into the KitKat files uh, to see how we can flash this. So we're gonna open it up first and over here we're presented with two files as you can see we've got two files separated there and there are certain ways of uh, getting these files out and um, you can choose whichever method you want however there's a suggested method I use it's called a line method um, it's kind of like a hack that you, you can do but you put down the files somewhere safe and then use the line method like that. It's very quick, very efficient, and very satisfactory. When you do the line method like this, it's almost like unzipping a girl's bra. It's really satisfying and you get straight to the point. So there you go, guys. You can unzip um, Android KitKat just like that. Now, in terms of its actual application and putting it on the phone, there's different ways we can unpack this. But um, in order to create um, a little mess, I suggest doing the uh, the split method and sometimes you can get cracks that can happen but don't worry guys these cracks can be easily rectified uh, when it comes to uh, flashing so first of all what I'm going to do is explain what's inside the ROM at the bottom over here we've got um, the the kernel over here and over here the biggest part over there is the ROM up here is the bloatware and you can see the bloatware takes a lot of space so we're gonna get rid of it it's a Samsung bloatware and you know what we hate Samsung bloatware so we get rid of that crap we just don't want it and here you can see now we've reduced to about 5 uh, 50 calories because we've halved the size of the ROM because of all that crap bloatware which Samsung provide is now gone. So now we can flash this. And to do this, I suggest putting it back into uh, the zip folder. Zipping it again via your own methods. Uh, there's so many different ways of zipping it, but I suggest using the simple zip method. And now what we can do, as you can see, there's certain residues right here uh, of the ROM and we can get rid of them. And you have to always clear your cache and clear everything before you start this. So what we can do is um, switch back the phone. And the reason why we can't flash it on the S1 is because it uses NFC to flash. This is a complete different flash way. Um, usually you can do it via recovery, via download mode, but now we're gonna do it via NFC. And Google are gonna be providing these cool uh, flash tools that people can use and it's going to be um, NFC flashing tools so you literally click like so and it will flash um, the ROM and it's as simple as that and then you'll be updated so right now as you can see Google will not pushing the update right away but it's really easy to have the ROM on your device now if we unpack it again we can see the um, the ROM and the kernel in there and um, See, if we take a closer look of the kernel, um, especially 
if you oh if you eat the kernel um oh well the phones just crashed guys I'm really sorry but the kernel was too damn tasty um I don't know what to do guys but anyway the phone has just crashed um I can't really do anything now it's just a brick um I might as well just uh, pull its battery out um and try and figure out a way of solving this but um yeah, the, the phone is completely crashed. I don't know what to do, guys. It's a brick. But anyway, guys, you can see the uh, the troubles I go to to make flashing videos. But hopefully, this gives you some information of not to eat the kernel when flashing Android KitKat. <laughs> Something really important that you should, uh, that you should um, uh, bear in mind. Uh, now, guys, <laughs> obviously this is a parody, but if you enjoyed this video, do share it, do like it, and do comment below of what you think about the new partnership, and more for the fact of the name, the Android KitKat name. And remember guys, if you've had too much flashing experiences, don't worry, you can have a break, and you can have a KitKat. Alright guys, totally tubs out, bye bye.